Let's start fresh and look at different ways we can get our bird that we just created from a GLB file into a scene. Before I start, somebody asked, oh, it's not a USD question. Does the puppy have a name? Yes. Okay, let's get on to some serious stuff. First, we're going to start a new stage. So file new. Are we going to save the old stage? No, nope. not going to bother. So this will give us a new empty stage. Now, the very first thing we're going to do is actually save this stage. I'm going to pick save as. I'm going to give it a new file name. I'm going to call it bird and helps if I spell bird and flowers. I'm going to be of type USD, going to save it in the same directory. And the reason I'm going to do this is if you save the file immediately and then add references to other um, models and so forth, it knows now where this file sits on disk and so I can use relative path names. Otherwise, what Omniverse will do is use absolute path names and relative path names are good. So in general, create a new stage, immediately save it is my suggestion. So we're inside this new um, birds and flowers and we've saved it off to disk. So what I'm going to do is come up and select on world and I'm going to create two scopes. I'm going to create uh, a scope for my birds. I'm not going to move them around as a flock. I could have created an X form and called this flock perhaps, but I'm not going to. I'm going to create another scope for the flowers. And this is just to keep things nicely grouped. So I'm then going to come down to the uh, NVIDIA assets they provide for free. And I'm going to look for some lupins, which is a nice pretty flower. So if I drag these into the viewport, it's going to load them up and um, I'm just uh, hitting the escape key just so that it stops selecting them. But if I go over to the stage window, you'll see the lopens aren't nested under the flowers. So what I can do is I can then drag it on the flowers and now it's nested inside the flower scope. There's another way though. What you can do is take it and drag it over the flowers but then it's always going to put it at position zero, zero, zero. And so you'd have to move it afterwards. And so it's really your call. You can choose whether to drag it into viewport and then reposition it if necessary, or drag it into the stage uh, window over here and then move it afterwards. Doesn't really matter. One thing just going to quickly point out is I've got names like world, environment, looks, these names are Omniverse conventions, not USD conventions. USD will let you use any name, but Omniverse has got some names it uses consistently. So let's go and grab our bird now. So if we come down, we're going to go into the flying bird subdirectory. We're going to grab our bird. I'm going to drag one into the viewport. And again, I've got to come up here and move it underneath the bird grouping. Or I can take the bird and drop it over on birds but then it's going to be at position zero zero and then I'd have to move it if I want to sort of see it a bit more closely I can hit F to zoom in and then I can start using my mouse wheel now lupins are pretty big flowers that's why they're so big compared to this uh, little bird so next what we're going to do is add a bird in another way what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an X form node and what you can do is right click and select add reference now, if I come to my projects directory and I, um, I'm just navigating back to where I am, the USD series into the flying hummingbird and I pick the file and what you may, if I hit F to focus, oh, can you tell what's happened here? The bird is suddenly enormous. So what we're going to have a look now is to say, Hey, something unexpected happened. How can I debug it? Well, what's very useful is if we right click and select edit, we can have a look at the underlying 
file behind this model. And this is where going down to the USD file can be educational at times. So I've got my, I'm looking for the birds scope and it's got a reference to the, um, the first bird and it's got a reference to, and you notice here it's using a relative directory dot slash. And so that was good because we saved the stage file first. Um, we've got a second bird and a third bird and, but the third bird is too big. So there's a few things to notice. First, these ones, the ones I added and dragged into the stage, you might notice don't say X form in here. They don't have a prim type because it's going to get the prim type from the referenced file. Whereas I created this one as an X form node and then added a reference to it. And so it's got the type in here. Now, because I created the prim node first, it picked the defaults. It didn't get them from the model because I added the model afterwards. And so using that right click and create reference, uh, sorry, add reference, it's not necessarily um, as useful as you might think. I'd normally do it via the other mechanisms for getting a something into it because we got this default value. So how can we fix it? Well, we can come in here. Um, I'm going to delete those property values. I'm also going to delete this prim type and get rid of that and then hit the save button. And suddenly the bird is now much, much smaller. Hit F to focus and you can see it's the same size as the other birds. Problem solved. Now, haven't quite finished though, because what you should always do is remember to right click on the main stage and finish editing to delete that temporary file while we're, um, we're just working on it. Now, in that actual file, you might have noticed it said, let's bring it back up. It's talked about payloads. And there's two concepts. One is references and the other one is payloads. They're very, very similar, but one of the difference between a reference and a payload is payloads try and load the file lazily. So if you can avoid loading the file, it will. So payloads are generally more efficient than references, um, but they both work um, pretty much the same. But what you can do is if you don't like the fact that dragging in created payloads, you can come under edit preferences, come down to stage, and then under import, there is drag and drop method. And so the default is to use a payload. And so you can change it down here. So what the default is when you drag it in. Cool. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show this time. I'm going to come back and finish editing. I'm going to save that file and I'm going to see you in the next video.